Hi folks, this is Steve Grono. I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of this 2017 Palomino Puma. It's a model 297 RLSS, as you can see right here. Uh, this is a bank repo, it's a little hobby of mine. I'm a home builder in Howell, Michigan, and this is what I do to occupy myself on the weekends. <laughs> but anyway, let me tell you about it. Um, 2017 model, the 29, I believe, designates it's 29 feet overweight, our overall length. Um, this rig is designed to be pulled with a half ton pickup. The GVWR is 9600, which you take off about 1700 for your cargo. So the empty weight is approximately um, 8000. Okay, so anyway, uh, I'll start here at the front and we'll go right around it. Um, the first thing you notice, all of the metal siding is free of any dings, dents, or problems. The vinyl graphics on it are all nice. There isn't any issues with any of that. Um, <clears throat> on the right side here, you have a, starting at the front, uh, propane storage. This has two 30-pound tanks, one on each side. Uh, they're both full. This is the garage storage underneath. This area is approximately, um, it's about 48 inches wide. It is approximately 12 inches tall, 12 to 14 inches tall, and it goes to the width of the rig, so it's just about eight feet wide. And there's a door on each side. Um, <clears throat> the the uh, fresh water fill is right here. This is where your portable water goes. This is a vent for the furnace. You have an intake and exhaust here. This is the service panel for the hot water heater. It's a six gallon. This is the service panel for the fridge, which is inside. The vent there is for the power hood. This rig has outdoor speakers. There are two of them. This is a 16-foot Domitech power awning. That might be an 18-footer, actually. Uh, we've had it out. We've cleaned it. There's no rips in it. It's, it's in very nice shape. The tires on it are pretty much like new. Uh, they still have the little nubbies on the sidewalls. Tread is full depth, so I don't see any issues there with the tires. Three steps up into the cabin, into the coach. We'll go around the other side, then I'll take you inside. This has power rear landing gear jacks. There's a switch on each side. The stabilizer jacks are there. Uh, the back of the rig right here, a view of that, it has an arch top single membrane rubber roof. We did go up there and power wash it and clean it. There are no leaks inside at all. The power cord comes out the rear of it. This is a 30 amp power cord right here. It folds inside that compartment. There's a new spare under that cover that's never been on the ground. Then now we're on the left side. Uh, this is the satellite hookup right here. Cable hookup here. Um, this is the slide. The slide is approximately 12 feet in width. It has uh, four windows in it. Um, this slide takes in the sofa and the dinette. Um, again, I'm, I'm gonna try to show you the sidewall. This again is real nice. There's no dense dings. It's shiny and bright, you know, just like you'd expect a 2017 to look. Right under here is an outside access to another little mini storage area. This is under the dinette. It's approximately 20 inches wide. It's about 14 inches tall, and it's about four feet deep. It has a single point of access with a lockable door. Um, <clears throat> again, we're on the left side of the rig. This is the outdoor shower right here that opens up. City water connection is here. And then underneath, this is your gray and black water dump tank valves, which is right here. Uh, this is the other access for the basement storage, which as you can see goes across. This does have like a plank style vinyl floor in it, just like the interior of the rig. Same size as I described earlier. And then here's your um, propane, your other 30 pound tank right here on the left side. This is the uh, spec sheet on it right here. It's 9650. That's fully loaded with water, uh, water tanks full, waste tanks full, gear that they estimate. That's about 17 to 1800 pounds more than the dry weight. So you estimate between 7,800 and 8,000 pounds dry weight. Um, let's take a look down the side here again. Try to show you the graphics and stuff. Everything's real clean. You won't be disappointed. There's no scratches from dragging it through a campground or anything like that. It's real nice. Okay, now in the front of it, this has a diamond plate bulkhead here, I guess for preventing stone chips and that kind of thing. A couple of switches, the docking light switch, which is right here, and then your uh, button for the um, landing gear, which are power. We've got the manual jacks there. In case the power doesn't work, you can manually run it up and down. This compartment, storage compartment, you could actually put a generator in here if you like. A lot of people do that. Little Honda EU2000 fits in there, pretty nice. Um, and then you have another fitting right here. This is a solar charge panel right there. You can plug in and solar charge your batteries. That space in there is about 20 inches deep. It's about 38 to 42 inches wide, and it's pretty tall. It's about 24 inches tall of clear span, and there's a door, of course, on it. 
and then there's a docking light right there. Uh, the very front of the rig, all this is real nice. There are no stone chips or bruises in this nose cone. Everything is clean. Um, these are LED docking lights on each side, and there's your fifth wheel pin connector right there. And uh, that's pretty much the exterior. Um, maybe you can see it on the roof. That's a digital King TV receiver right there. Uh, those things are great. They get a nice high-definition picture on the TVs inside. So there you go. Um, let's go inside and I'll tell you about that. Again, the model 297 RLSS. Come in and I'll kind of pan around here and then I'll kind of take you around in a little more detail. Just give you kind of a broad view of how the interior lays out first. And then we'll sort of go over it a little more closely. That's kind of a broad view. Okay, so um, again, coming in the door, let's go around the back first. This is the aft, the stern. Uh, three windows, these are um, shades, which, which fasten at the bottom and pull up at the top. The window treatments are pretty nice. This is fabric and this is leather or vinyl up here, and it's all matching all the way around the rig. It's real clean. There's two LED lights. All the lights in this rig are LED. These are lazy boys, so they, they kick out, you know, your foot, foot rest kick out. The material on these is really nice. You don't have any scratches or nicks or any kind of problems here. Everything shows, you know, real clean, real nice, just like a new one would. By the way, the, everything you see in this video is included. The pillows, the rugs, the bedspread, the decor. My wife does that. She loves it, has a little fun with it. So all that stuff's included as we go around it, just so you know. Um, okay, between the two Lazy Boys, this is the compartment that holds the power cord on the outside. Down here is your fuse panel, low voltage and high voltage. Above this is a rack of cabinets that go across the full width of the rig. This, these three doors open into a common area. So what you've got here is, you've got a depth of this of approximately 16 inches deep. This is about 12 and a half inches tall and it's the full width of the rig, so it's about eight feet wide. I guess games and, you know, maybe some sheets and pillows and stuff could go in there for the sofa, which is right over here. So that's the back. Now taking in the left side of the rig, um, this, this is suede, real nice shape, um, suede sofa. This opens up into a sleeper, two-person sleeper. There's a large window behind it and to the left of it. And then up above, you have this similar cabinet arrangement with three doors that open into a common area. Um, this is a little deeper on the other side. This is about 16 to 18 inches deep. Uh, the height's the same, about 12. And this overall length of this one is about 50 inches. The, the last one slants back at an angle right there. So just back up, give you a little view of that. It does have switches for the lighting, which are right here on the wall. This is nice instead of having to punch the lights themselves all the time. The carpet and stuff, very nice and clean. You won't find any problems there. It's real nice and, and clean. Um, now, now to the dinette. Um, the dinette seats four. There is storage underneath both of the seats. Um, this stuff's this stuff's super nice. Um, and the table itself is nice. This is like a wood grain table. It's made of composite, and there's no scratches or marks in the table anywhere. And this rear seat is also nice. As I said, the decor and stuff comes with it. There's two LEDs above that right there. So there's your your dinette seats four. Going forward, two steps up, the bath and the master, which I'll take you in last. But while we're in the main salon here, I'll just take you through the galley. So the galley's right here. Um, give you another little broad view of that. It has towel hooks here on the left side of the cabinets. There's two of them. There's a plug there on the left. Um, this countertop is like a composite countertop. It's, it's real nice. There's no scratches in it. It hasn't been, you know, no hot pans or anything put on it. It's real nice. This is a brush nickel fixture up here hot and cold the sink itself real nice no scratches in there um, and then the drawers this this presumably silverware drawer it's about four inches deep uh, four inches tall it's about 16 deep and the width is about 13 to 14 inches wide the second one down is just the same thing without the dividers and then the third one same thing again underneath the sink you have this door presumably you know under there maybe a trash can there's a shelf up here which is kind of handy for I guess pots and pans and stuff like that could go there um, the water pump is right behind that panel for winterizing it these cabinets are all a nice solid wood raised panel cabinet with like a maple dark maple finish on here's a little cubby for your um, I guess your stuff for washing dishes could go in there and then above you have uh, some under under counter cabinet lighting here too above this is the upper shelves and cabinets. Um, these are about 
12 inches deep. They go about 40 inches wide. And there are two of them, one here and one up here. And then you have room up top for, you know, you can put your, I guess, your snacks and chips and breads and stuff can go up there on the very top, if you like. Brush nickel hardware on the cabinets. To the right of that, two more cabinets. Um, two doors and actually one space inside. Uh, same, same measurements. These are approximately uh, 14 to 16 inches deep. The width here is about 32. And then you have a height of about 12 to 14. There's two of those. And then space above, again, on the top. Um, then to the right of that, we've got your microwave. This is a Furion. Open it up for you so you can see it. Real nice in here. Uh, I know, you know, no evidence that it's ever even been used, actually. It's super clean. Works fine. Hood has a light in it and a fan right there that vents outside. That's what we saw in the outside area. Then there's this three burner suburban gas cooktop right here with a cover. So when they're not using that, you flip the cover down and you've got more area for food prep. And it also has an oven down below here and you can see how nice and clean that is. I don't think anyone, anything was ever cooked in there. Uh, so that's kind of your range cooktop area. There's a, another GFI plug right there and a window with a blind behind it. So there's your kind of main galley area to the right is the Domitech fridge. They carried the uh, same matching raised wood panels onto this fridge, which they don't always do. It's a really nice feature on this one. Uh, this operates, of course, on gas or propane. It'll operate on either one, on and off. Um, when you're plugged in, it knows it, and it turns off the propane. I've had this running. This is ice cold in here, freezing. Um, the, the space in here in this freezer, this is about uh, 14 inches deep. It's about 22 inches wide. The height's about 22 also, and there's two shelves. And then in the door, you know, you've got room to put frozen stuff here too. Um, the fridge below that is, um, this, this area is approximately 26 wide, 26 to maybe even 28 wide. Its height is about 36, the depth is about 16, and you have one, two, three shelves, and then these little pullouts. Below that, the door has one, two, three little shelves for your, you know, pops and waters and stuff and milk and stuff would go right there. So that's your, um, you know, fridge area. To the right of that, you've got some big pantry lockers. There's two of them. Uh, this one is super deep. This is about 30 deep. It's about 12 to 14 wide. It's about 12 to 14 tall. And there are three of those. There's one, two, three of those in the upper one. And then the lower one right here, there's two. So uh, same thing, 12 to 14 wide, 30 deep. Uh, the height on these though is much more. It's about 20 inches high, each one, that one and that one. That'd be a good place for a trash basket right there. Um, then you have this cool little entertainment area right here. Uh, it's got a huge TV, maybe a 42 inch TV. There's a DVD player. That's what I have running right now, a little DVD. Um, the, this Furion TV also has a sound bar, a uh, little option on it right there that really lights it up in here with sound. It's quite nice. Um, there's the, the sound system. It has indoor and outdoor speaker settings. Um, there's a USB connection and a um, Bluetooth connection on that, I believe. This open cubby right here is about uh, 8 inches wide, but it goes back pretty deep. It's about 24 inches deep right there, and it's about 12 inches tall. To the right are your controls, uh, you know, your battery level, your fresh water supply, black water, gray water, uh, both tanks. Your water pump switch is right here. Water heater switch is right there. Porch light, interior lights, awning light, which is an LED. Then you have your awning power extension and the slide power. Everything on here works fine. We've tested everything. I have keys with it too right there. Underneath is your some some more storage. These are these are um, these are your um, straps for strapping down the chairs if you like. Now this is triangular so it's a little hard to describe the size but the narrow side over here is only about five inches but then it opens up to about 24 inches in the back. Triangular the height's about 12 and there's two uh, levels to that. And that's your that's it for your cabinets. So that's your main salon. Um, as I said rooftop air conditioning right here. Let's go up front. Uh, this floor again is a vinyl plank simulated floor. It's real nice. I've checked it. There's no scratches in it or marks in it anywhere. No rips. You won't be uh, surprised or disappointed when you um, see it in, per in person. So let's look at the bath. Uh, this bath is a pretty good size. It's got a little vanity in the corner here. Uh, it's an overmount sink with hot and cold. Again, all these little doodads are new. The towels, the soap dispensers, my wife does all that. They're, they come with the deal. There's a GFI here on the left. Your light switches and fan switches here. Medicine cabinet with a mirror. 
Uh, this, in the deepest part, triangular again, this is only about 10 inches deep. And these are about maybe 10 to 12 inches tall. There's three compartments for your, you know, toothpaste and shampoo and stuff like that. This, uh, again, same composite countertop, real nice, no issues with that. Down here, you got some storage. Um, there's a, a plumbing in here that interrupts it a little bit, but it's, it's approximately 18 by 16, and there's two of those for the vanity. And then this locker right here, it's like a linen locker. It's the full height of the rig. Open it up. So these are about 12 deep, they're about 20 wide, and they're about 14 tall. There's one, two, three of those. Again, I'm sure that's for towels and sheets and stuff. And then below, let's see, this one has two. So it's gonna be the same width and depth, but it's taller. It's about 24 tall, and there's two of those, one, two. The shower right here is a real nice, um, like opaque acrylic finish on it and it's tracked on the top and tracked on the bottom so it's real solid this is for when you're driving it keeps the doors from flopping around you just take this little rubber deal off and you can open it up and hopefully you can see this in the video it's super clean this looks just like a brand new rig in here there's no you know stains marks anything it's very very nice everything works fine there's a skylight that takes light in um, easily a six foot plus man can stand up in there without any problem and there's a light in there, which a lot of them do not have any light in here. So that's, and these are curved doors. And again, when you close it and ready to transport it, you just put that little rubber thing back on, you're good to go. Toilet's right there, it's like new. Um, these towels are there, the towel hooks that comes with it. There's a vent up here with a fan right there. So there's your bath. Um, let me uh, go out and now we'll go into the master, we'll be done. Uh, your control for your thermostats here is heat and air conditioning works right here. Switch for the forward masters right there so you can light it up to come in. The, the, it has a queen size bed, uh, so it's 60 by 72. Um, it does have a brand new bedding, these pillows, all this stuff's uh, new. And uh, also we put a new TV in here. This has a, a flat screen on the wall right there. I think that's a 20... 24 inch maybe something like that 24 inch and then there's your control for your antenna right on the roof right there um, So the cabinets in this one left hand side again. This has a little hanging locker here for you know You can put your coat hook your um, coat hanger right there. The height of this is about 32 at the front, but it narrows It's 32 tall and it's about 32 deep but then it slants back with the nose cone So it's shallower at the top than it is at the bottom the width on it is about 16 so you get some clothes in there. Then you have this upper area, which is two doors, but a common space. This is about um, 18 deep this way. And the overall width of that's about 50 inches. Again, the ceiling of it is sloped. So you can get, I guess, your socks and underwear and shirts and stuff like that can go up in there. The other side matches this side right here. There is a single LED light above the center of the bed. It lights up everything where both people could read. There's a little shelf there with a plug for your cell phone on both sides, a plug on both sides, and windows. There's a window here, and there's a window here. So, yeah, that's the pretty much the essence of the main forward area. It has a solid wood door on it, which is nice. And um, I think I've covered it. So if you have any questions, again, my name is Steve Grono. My company is Chestnut Home Builders, if you want to Google me. Um, I'm in, I'm in uh, my company's in Brighton, I live in Howell. The zip code here is 48843. And if you want to call me and ask any questions, uh, my cell phone is 810-599-5147. So thanks. I hope that was helpful. Thank you.